can you break down like what the unified field theory is for the people like including myself in the very layman's term that what was Einstein working on and what did you extend to further discover? Sure, that's very easily done. Electromagnetism and gravity emerge as aspects of a single fundamental field. So that's all the unified field theory is. So let's break down that sentence because that's what I did. First of all, electromagnetism needed to be, uh, what's the word, deconstructed. There's actually two fields there and they typically coexist together in particles. Um, They always do actually. And so electromagnetism, I broke out into the electrostatic field, which is the Coulomb force and magnetism. So thanks to James Clerk Maxwell, he was able to realize that they were interrelated and did the formulas and the work to discover that electromagnetism is really a particle, it's a twist of space, that's the electrostatic field. And that twist, because of its structure, moves. And when that twist moves, the space around it rotates. So as the charge is rotating, is moving through space, the space is adapting to that twist and is rotating as the thing moves. That's electromagnetism. That's two thirds of the unified field theory already worked out by James Clerk Maxwell, thanks to the work of Michael Faraday, who came before him, who realized somehow that charges moving in wires made magnetism. You never have magnetism without a moving charge. So that's two thirds of the unified field theory. Then there was the other aspect, which is gravity. Gravity seemed to be separate at the time, but Everybody suspected somehow it was created in some way associated with electromagnetism. So I linked the final part. And the single fundamental field that all these forces come from was called the ether. And I realized that we needed to bring back the ether. It was improperly discarded in the year 1905. So I wrote in my book many chapters proving the existence of the ether and re-establishing it as the fundamental field. So now we have the fundamental field, we have the electrostatic charge, the twist of space, we have the magnetic field, the rotation of space around that charge. Now I had to figure out a way to create gravity from the motion of an electromagnetic charge. That's the only way to link everything together. It was through motion. The electrostatic charge has motion due to its structure. When it moves, it creates the magnetic field. Through motion, the magnetic field emerges into reality. It's a secondary field of force. And what are fields of force? Fields of force are just bendings of space. The ether is the fundamental flat field. It's, you could think of it as a Euclidean grid, a flat grid, until you apply a force to it. So the ether is really a quasi-elastic solid that exists everywhere and in everything. It's the only thing that exists. Everything else is made from it and is a part of it, consubstantial with it. Particles are consubstantial with the ether. If you look up that word, if you don't know what that means, it means made of the same thing. So they are structures are configurations of space and they move through space and when they do that they cause space to bend magnetic field is a rotation of space gravity is a contraction of space so that's what einstein was trying to do he was trying to figure out the way that electromagnetism could you know link to gravity and that's what i did thanks to einstein's help who left a lot of clues behind So that's what the unified field theory is all about, basically.